Hey guys, Mitch here with the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and I'm starting a master class on Zequence, but I thought I would do a, to introduce it, I would do a very high level overview of the app. And so the app itself is Zequence, it's a linear MIDI sequencer controller. You can use it to control hardware, you can use it to sequence hardware, or you can do software or any audio unit or interapp audio or standalone app that you want that supports core MIDI. <clears throat> now the beauty of this thing is it's modular and so whereas traditional DAWs, Cubasis, things like that, you specify on a track and you want it to be this audio unit, this interapp audio, this source. And then it's, you know, it may or may not be the easiest thing to, you know, convert it over to something else if you'd want to change out instruments and things like that. Whereas Zequence, you define the instruments that you want to be using. So if you're going to do a track, there's a little five pin MIDI icon up at the top and that's where you get to your instrument rack. And what an instrument is, think about it as a virtual connection to that particular instrument, you know, via it, um, you know, an audio unit source, an interapp audio source, a standalone app, a hardware, if you have your you know, like I have an iConnect Audio 4 Plus that has a 5-pin MIDI connection. So if I had physical hardware sequence or hardware synth that could take in 5-pin MIDI, then I could use Zequence to sequence it, which is really cool. So you can get there and you have your instruments and they're going to be across the top like this. And you're going to define them. And so you could define one as drums. You know, you could define this one as a bass and you would select the source or the destination that you want this instrument to go. And so you could, you know, you could pick AUM channel one and then inside of AUM on channel one, you would have an audio unit for a bass. Same thing with channel two, maybe you use uh, interrupt audio and you have MV01 loaded up inside of audio um, <clears throat> AUM or you could do it inside of audio bus either way or you just wanted to do say I am one that has a multi mode where you can have you know 10 different or 8 different instruments played at the same time specify each of the MIDI channels and then you could use sequence to sequence the whole thing and so once you define your instruments then you go back out to the arrangement view and then you'll see you know one track if you're on a new project well then you could just add multiple tracks if you wanted to. But what's cool is there's a little gear icon and then you specify this track, so you want it bass, then you will specify in the track that you want it pointed to the bass. And then you could also specify track two that you want it pointed to the bass. And then the bass part one, or the track one is gonna be the bass and it's gonna be the MIDI parts or the, the actual note data and part uh, track two could actually be like a filter cutoff. And so you could have three or four different parts here doing the, the main section of a bass line and then you could have one long part that's kind of doing a filter sweep all the way through in like a wave motion and you could have it on the second one and that just cleans it up. So you could have multiple tracks pointed to the same instrument and to easily break up some of the automation, that's you know one of the ways you could do it. You could also have you know say track three is the lead line, and then it's four, five, six, and seven. Say all of these are you point them all to the bait or to the drum set, and then you could have the kicks right here. You could have the snares, the hi hats, all on separate tracks. The MIDI is separated so that you could easily keep the kicks. And then change up a kick, keep the same snare, change up the snares with the same kicks, and you can just completely just change everything around a lot quicker than having to go in and then edit each individual part. You could easily kind of hot swap them a little bit. And then you could also have another track here that was doing some drum automations, adding some delay or however you want to do it. <clears throat> and another thing that's really cool is say you have the lead up here and you have the bass. Well say you wanted to kind of flip flop them and you wanted to see how that bass would sound with the lead instrument. How the bass MIDI notes would sound as a lead instrument. 
And instead of having to do some copying and pasting, you just go right up here and you just tell track one that you don't want it to be to go to the bass, you want it to go to the lead. And you just tell it and it just works. Um, so it's very modular in that sense. And so that's what I really like about it. It's very modular. You're not constrained to if you specify this track as bass and then you want to go along and you want to change it to the lead or, or something else. You're not constrained to that. You can just simply um, select what instrument you want that track to go to. And then you can duplicate and say you want the filter the same on the the bass and the lead line or you could just create and just copy that filter down create another track and then specify it to the lead and the bass and then so there's just a whole lot of options and it'll also take in MIDI from external keyboards external sequencers or arpeggiator apps or whatever you want to and so if you selected a particular track down here and then you had like arpeggiist you could have it sending in and then hit record at the top and then it's going to record in that MIDI note. Same thing with like synthesizer if you wanted to kind of do some you know random kind of MIDI patterns throughout and then chop those up, chop the MIDI patterns up you could easily use this app to do that and control everything. So that's kind of all I just wanted to wanted you to understand about the app is the modulization of the app itself is kind of like a modular MIDI controller in a sense because you have your tracks but you can also you can just change out the virtual cables to where what instrument this is going to or this one's going to and then you can have multiple tracks go to the same instrument you can divide them up into um, MIDI notes MIDI CC information to keep things nice and clean so you can see everything on the screen instead of having to go inside of the pattern itself to see the automation or if you're kind of looking and the automation and the MIDI notes are the same or on the same track it gets kind of couldn't get kind of confusing to where you can have these you know just laid out and nice and neat so thanks guys for watching hopefully this is the overview and then stay tuned for part two where I get into the arranger and instruments and actually go in and set this up and explain everything that you can do inside the arranger view and inside of the instruments so thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys later.